Okay, here's the next one for this. I think I'm going to um, do the, uh, the inside part. And once again, I'm gonna tip it so that gravity and water is helping me blend. And I will tip it from whatever the lighter value is to the darker value. And so this will be, I'll start break, busting out a little bit more intense color for here. But pro, just starting mostly with uh, the Nicolazzo yellow. And I probably get a little ways and then start blending in a little bit of um, the Quinn magenta and just keep doing a little bit more of that. It is helpful to uh, be able to tilt your board depending on, I mean, depending on how much water and color is pooling. It can be nice to uh, sort of tame that down by just flipping it a little bit more tilting it more flat, but sometimes I really want it quite tilted. So I'm going to um, just sort of sneak in a little bit of that magenta at this point and a little bit more. You know, I think that's going to be fine. The um, it really is kind of a okay. I lied. Maybe I'll put a little bit more of this because I know that's going to be in there eventually. But once again, sort of tipping it and still making it so it's going to blend. And even though it's not blended perfectly, I I know it's going to be several layers going on there and. And these are just foundational layers and helps to not worry about it too much, I think, as long as you get in the basic idea of that light yellowy to this darker magenta brown. Cool. Let's see. I think I will, um, maybe I will, I'm going to do some of these guys some more. This color right about here seems sort of a little too much water there seems pretty good for um, starting to uh, darken up strengthen up these guys a little bit more Good, let's see. I think I'll bring in something like this for the middle. Yeah, definitely um, heading more towards orangey brown. Being a little bit sloppy and quick, but um, I encourage you to take your time as you need to. There's always the balance of taking your time for any shape versus 
making sure that one part, one area of the shape isn't getting a whole lot drier than a different area if you're wanting to make clean, gradual washes. Pick up a little bit of that right there. Sure. Let's go for um, the next one, which is really starting to lean more towards the uh, magenta. Kind of tricky. Yeah, never mind. Well, what I was going to say is, especially in a situation like this, to think, am I mixing this into here or this into here or both together? And I'm kind of doing mostly both. That may hurt you <laughs> just be a little more confusing if you're really unfamiliar with mixing A little bit too much water there. This is my um, tricky area. When I dab in color like this, it's 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 definitely a uh, quick quick thing. I'm not sort of doing that. Um, but I want it to come out of the brush kind of quickly and I sort of flick it down like that. And then when I want to soak some up, make sure to make a thirsty brush. And then do that. I think, um, I think that's nice for now. You can tell I'm just gradually building up. It's a little bit darker and a little bit more red. And this next one, I'm going to um, get my smaller brush and I'm going to use quite a bit more um, Quinn Magenta, but I do want to um, make sure it's, it's not just reading as a as Quinn Magenta, but part of this orange, earthy orange family of colors. And a whole lot darker. Bring in a little bit more color. I'm going to um, flip around just to uh, get better control on, on where the tip of my brush is. I, 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 something to be careful of is it's going to be tempting to stick your hand down for a little bit more stability. And as long as you put in your hand where there's something dry, the shape isn't still wet, you'll be fine. But You'll probably do that many times and just stick in your hand and paint that's in a shape that's still wet. And then you'll be part of the group of watercolor artists that does that, which is, I think, probably 100%. So you're in good company.
that's a good example of I could probably let that sit there and it would not bloom but since I'm thinking about it I'll do that testing whether something is dry all the way not it's usually recommended to use the back of your finger to s and see if it's cold at all to the touch. Touching it like that brings in more oils, theoretically. Um, I don't know if that's a... Yeah, it depends. So that's still wet. I'm going to leave... I'm going to let it dry. Well, I'm going to dry it with a hair dryer and then come back for more. <laughs> 